that the peak in death rate is likely to hit in two weeks. So, I'll say it again. The peak, the highest point of death rates, remember this, is likely to hit in two weeks. Nothing would be worse than declaring victory before the victory is won. That would be the greatest loss of all. Therefore, the next two weeks and during this period, it's very important that everyone strongly follow the guidelines, have to follow the guidelines that our great Vice President holds up a lot. He's holding that up a lot. He believes in it so strongly. The better you do, the faster this whole nightmare will end. Therefore, we will be extending our guidelines to April 30th to slow the spread. On this analysis seeks to include in a detailed trend forecast for the US and UK coronavirus infections and deaths into the end of April. The importance of which being to act as indicators for the primary driver for stock market trends since mid-February. Whereas well, was the case with my preceding forecast since the end of March, deviations against the coronavirus trend warned of worse prospects for the stock prices as the US and UK failed to follow the South Korean model. The United States coronavirus trend forecast into the end of April 2020. The US has had a major advantage over the rest of the Western world which is that it had a lot more time to prepare for this pandemic. Unfortunately, the US only really started to actually act in any sig significant manner when the stock prices started to collapse early March. However, that still gave the US a good head start on the likes of the UK, which is reflected in the US's lower CFR of just 1.3%. That's the case fatality rate which suggests that the US does have a chance to get a grip on the pandemic and veer more towards South Korea than Italy or Britain, where the pandemic is more or less now baked in. Whilst federal government actions are being found lacking, the state governments such as California, Florida and New York have announced lockdowns for all of their citizens this week, totalling 75 million Americans with likely more states to follow though the broadcast media reports that many people are flouting the lockdowns. However, this gradual ratcheting up of measures should slow down the spread of the virus and also suggest to expect a lower CFR rate. The existing forecast US trend trajectory into the end of March puts the US on about 40,000 infections and 1,200 deaths. However, actions announced this week and more expected over the coming week are likely to dampen the parabolic curve that the US is currently on, slowing its progress by the end of April. Therefore, my US infections trend forecast is for the US to experience approximately half that which Italy has experienced, which translates into about 531 officially recorded and infected and resolving to 26,550 deaths, which results in a CFR of about 5% by the end of April, as illustrated by my forecast graph. And as for the number of actually infected, well, as is the case for the UK, then the real number of infected is likely to be many times the official number tested at least 15 times higher by which by the end of April would imply 8 million infected in the US and possibly as high as 30 times or 16 million. Whilst the actual number today is probably between 350,000 to 700,000 which is why the UK and US are on a parabolic curve due to the mass of hidden infected who will make their way into the official statistics of the coming weeks as more are tested. And whilst the death toll of 26,550 will be painful. However, my forecast conclusion is far removed from some of the prominent doom merchants out there that start at 200,000 and rise to 1.7 million deaths. Also, I expect subsequent pulses to result in far fewer deaths as the pandemic waves are better managed than this first wave. 
Vaccines and treatments. What I understand it is relatively easy to make a vaccine. So literally dozens of vaccines have already been made. However, it could take as long as a year for the testing to make sure the vaccine does not end up doing more harm than good. Though I suspect we'll see at least one start being administered widely before the end of this year. In the meantime, there are promising noises around several possible treatments such as hydroxychlorine that could impact on reducing the consequences of future pulses that's beyond me and not the one that we're currently trending towards. Coronavirus forecast stock market trend implications. My next analysis will convert the coronavirus trend trajectories into a probable stock market trend forecast. In the meantime, my primary message remains unchanged in that I view this coronavirus bear market as being temporary and thus a buying opportunity for the AI stock sector. And a reminder that the whole of this extensive analysis was first made available to patrons who support my work. So, for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. Your analyst hopeful that the coronavirus first wave will be contained to allow for treatments to be developed that negate the Sweden... <coughs> <coughs> got a cough. Negate the seriousness of the COVID-19 beyond this first wave. And do remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for new videos as we face the catastrophe of our negligent governments and not acting in time. The warnings were on the wall. Writings were on the wall two months ago.